Pebble Beach Pro AM 2017 purse, winners pay out up to $1.2 million. Playing golf on what is perhaps the most scenic golf course in the world for millions of dollars is not a bad job. We know professional golfers have it pretty good, and this week's AT&T Pebble Beach Pro M is the most instant reminder. The Pebble Pro AM is a more relaxed PGA Tour event, with amateur hacks playing each day with their regular touring pros as a holdover vestige from what used to be known as the Bing Crosby Clambic. It was much more of a party back then, but this is still an entirely different atmosphere that many pros embrace as a nice change of pace for one week of the year. It's not an all-out party, however, and the perks that come from winning on the pro side are some of the best of the season. The 2017 purse at the Pebble Beach Pro AM is up to $7.2 million, a nice $200,000 bump from last year's pot. The winner will earn a hefty $1,296,000 payout, which is the biggest of the year so far and most lucrative of the West Coast swing. The player in line to win that check is one of those in the field who might need it the least. Jordan Spieth started the final round with a massive six-shot lead and while he hasn't opened that up even more, it's hard to see anyone closing that gap to even make it interesting down the stretch. Spieth just needs to avoid the massive blow-up hole and he should cruise in with a comfortable multi-shot win. Spieth is just 23 years old and already has $28,522,902 in career winnings, an astronomical amount. A FedEx Cup title to end that all-time 2015 season added a $10 million bonus check to his winnings and boosted his earnings that season to about $22 million. This would be his ninth PGA Tour win, joining Tiger Woods as the only other in the modern era to pile up that many wins by this age. His off-course earnings are also an enormous source of income and not calculated into that $28.5 million career earnings total. So he doesn't need the money and that's not really the priority on this Sunday, getting a win at a time where he said he's probably hitting the ball better than he did all of 2016 is the goal. But still, adding another $1 million plus check while playing arguably the most beautiful course on tour is not bad work. Jen Rhodes for nominating me for the Ice Bucket Challenge. I am in turn nominating Clint Eastwood, my boss and chairman of the board, and our two champions, Jimmy Walker for the AT&T and Kirk Triplett for the first tee open. Really me cold.
please subscribe to channels.